Hey, hey, welcome to the Mads Web Party, people. Coach Anderson here. We're going to get into it here with another word problem. And as always, we have to apply basic strategy. So we're going to go through this nice and smooth, look at different keywords, how they apply, that way you can continue getting stronger. So if you want to take a pause and try it out yourself, go ahead and do so. But remember, the point of this is not just to magically get the right answer. It's really going to be to understand why the, t the steps that we take get us to the right answer. So pay close attention, pause wherever you need to, and rewatch wherever you need to. Let's get it going here. So at first, again, the first step in every word problem is going to be to, well, identify the question. What's the goal? Right here, it starts with the question sentence. So how much will the buyer pay? Okay, that's pretty straightforward, right? We want to know how much we're going to pay for something. Now, there's going to be information associated with it. Yeah, sure, whatever. But at least we know, we want to know how much we're paying for something. So write that down. Cool, that's step one. Again, what we want, we'll pay, we'll pay that much. Again, you don't need to be fancy with it. You just need to identify the goal. Now that you have the goal, we'll go ahead and go into the information. Hey, 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 really quick before we continue, if you're watching this, you've likely already been to one of my classes. And if you haven't been to one of my classes, remember to check that schedule. The link is right up there and in the description of this video. That way you can understand when my free classes are and my access program classes are. That way you can keep raising your score, knowing what topics we're doing and get the job you want. So again, click there or in the description to see when the classes are and join one for free. I'll see you there, my party people. Let's get back to the action. So let's look at the information that we have given to us. So we see here that it says a basket of apples is being sold at a farmer's market. Okay. And then it says the basket weighs this much. So the basket weighs a pound and four ounces. And it also says the buyer is charged a dollar and 30 cents per ounce of apples. That's a key word right there. We definitely want to write that down. We're charged a dollar 30 per ounce. So taking a look at that information, I think we have enough already to solve this pretty straightforward because we have again, one pound, four ounces, and we're charged a dollar 30 per ounce. And there we have it. Now, here's how we're going to ultimately get this done. Notice really right here, notice that this says a dollar 30 per ounce. But if you take a look at the measure that we have, you know, the total weight, we have a pound and four ounces. So here's the thing. We are going to take the number of ounces and multiply it by a dollar 30. That's what the word per means. We do a dollar 30 times the number of ounces, but we don't have just ounces. We need to convert first. And that's why over here, this is called unit three unit conversions. This is part of the arithmetic reasoning where the problem seems simple, but you have to pause and actually do something before you keep going. So here, unit conversions, if you're in the program, go ahead and check that bad boy out, log in, go to unit three in the arithmetic reasoning, and you have plenty of video examples, plenty of guided practice, worksheets, all you need, everything you need in there, get it done. But here's how we're gonna get this done here. We're gonna convert this into just purely ounces. Because once we convert this to pure ounces, then yeah, just multiply by that dollar thirty per ounce and you're good. So how do we do that again? Well, let's go ahead and take a look right over here. We have one pound and four ounces. To take one pound and turn that into ounces, well, the thing is we know how many ounces one pound is. Every pound is 16 ounces. So we can actually convert that pretty simple here. One pound is 16 ounces. We still have these four ounces over here. So how many total ounces do we have? We have a total of 20 ounces right there. So understanding how to convert is really important here because even if you knew that the word per means multiply, you still had to convert the units to make sure that you're good to go. So with that said, boom, we come right back. We have a total of 20 ounces. So let me just fix this right up here. Great. And now we'll go ahead and do the dollar and 30 cents right over here per ounce. So times 20. So we'll do this 1.30 times 20, which we don't even need that zero. We can just multiply by two then move the decimal place over. Um, you know, we can do that shortcut there to get 26 or I can do it by hand. So we'll have zero times zero, three times zero, one times zero. Again, that's the reason why we could have just skipped a step. <laughs> then we bring the zero down for the next row, two times zero, two times three, one times two. We add all this back, zero, zero, six, two. And we have ourselves one, two decimal places, one, two. 
So again, 26 bucks, 26 bucks, same deal, but that is our final answer. We have ourselves answer choice C as the correct one. So again, my Asby Party people, if you like this video, please make sure to like it here on YouTube and make sure to comment on it. That way more people can see this video just like you. What I would prefer that you comment is, well, what do you enjoy about the video? And if you're in my program, go ahead and shout the program out. That way many more people know that it exists and that there's help for them just like it is for you. So again, I'm Coach Anderson. I love you all my party people. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. And before you go, if you like what you saw and you want to raise your score with thousands of practice problems just like that, so you can lower that test anxiety, raise that confidence, go to this link right here to check out the full program. There's a video that shows you exactly how it works, but you're going to get lessons, guided practice, worksheets, speed drills, and everything that you need to feel supported from day one all the way until you pass. Again, I'm Coach Anderson, and I'll see you soon.